Hey everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Today, as requested by you guys, the viewers, I'm going to show you how I painted up my Gazgul, or Gazgul, depending on how you pronounce it, Thraka model for my Orc army. I began by priming the model gray. I wanted to prime the model black, but I was out of black primer, and so was the store in my neighborhood, so I decided to prime it gray and then paint the areas black. If you have the option, I would actually recommend just priming the entire model black. I then painted all the black areas on the body, chaos black. As I just mentioned, if you prime the entire model black as I recommend, you'd actually get to skip this step. As you'll notice, I actually kept all the parts separate just to make it easier to paint. I began all the metal areas on the body with bolt gun metal. Bolt gun metal is a great foundation color for painting metallic uh, areas, as it provides a nice dark tone, which you can go over later with washes and highlights. To create a, an older, dirtier look, which is what I was going for for this model, I used a black-brown wash on all the metallic areas consisting of a one-to-one -one mix of Devlin Mud and Badab Black. When the wash dried, I did a highlight on all these metallic areas using chainmail paint. However, I tried to keep as much of the metallic areas um, the dirty wash look. I started on all the gold areas with dwarf bronze. If you've seen any of my tutorials, you know that I really like to layer up the GW colored metallic uh, paints from dwarf bronze all the way up to other golds. Therefore, the next step was to give these gold areas the same black-brown wash that I had given the silver metallic areas earlier. When the wash was dried, I gave all these areas a highlight with shining gold. However, as I said, I tried to maintain as much of the uh, washed areas as possible. I began on all the red areas using the foundation color of Mechrite Red, which is great for covering up um, black and providing a nice rich tone, which later you can go over with a nice lighter color. I then highlighted all of these red areas using Blood Red. As you can see, the Blood Red actually really brightens up the red areas. Um, which we will tone down in a moment using a wash. I then gave all these red areas a Bata Black wash, which will um, bring down all the reds and give them again a slightly older, dirtier appearance um, and make them look a little bit more metallic, which is what I was going for. I then decided to paint the skin. Um, first, I painted all the skin areas using orc hide shade, um, a great foundation color if you're painting orc skin. I then highlighted the skin using Narlock green. I made sure to keep the recesses um, with the orc hide shade. And then I did another highlight using Reaper Pale Green. If you don't have Reaper Pale Green, I recommend GW Scorpion Green, which is basically the same color. To blend these colors together and to tone down the green a little bit, I gave all this, the skin a Thraka Green wash. I figured no wash is more fitting for this model than Thraka Green. And finally, I gave the skin one more highlight uh, using Reaper Pale Green. This ended up with a nice uh, bright green color, which I like for all my orc skin. I decided to paint the wiring three different colors. First, I started with Goblin Green on um, a good chunk of the wiring, most of the coiled wiring. Then 
And then second, I did another set of wiring using Enchanted Blue. Uh, the blue provides, an, once again, a nice contrast to the green. And then finally, I chose to do all the other wiring with Sunburst Yellow. So we have three very definitive colors, and you can easily tell the difference between all the wiring. And as you can see by these pictures, there is a lot of wiring. To give the wiring a slightly dirtier look, I gave all of the wiring a bad -ab black wash. Once again, the goal of this wash is just to make the wiring look a little bit older and more defined. I base coated the horns and the cow skull, as well as um, his necklace and the covering for the wiring, um, Kelthen Brown. I then used yet another foundation color, Denim Stone, on the teeth. For his horns, I painted a gradient first of bleach bone through a 50-50 mix of bleach bone and skull white, and finally just with skull white. This gradient provides a nice realistic look to the horns. For the cow skull, I started off with a Devlin mud wash, which will get into the recesses, bringing a lot of the detail in the recesses of the skull. I then repeated the same process on the skull that I did in the horns, going from a gradient up to uh, white. I then painted up all the symbols uh, in the same fashion that I painted the reds um, on the other parts. For all the rope of the bands on the gun and uh, around the skull, I started to paint them Kelth and Brown and then gave them a Devlin mud wash to uh, bring out the detail in them. For the checkered pattern, I, did, I started out with the outline uh, with Codex Gray. For your outline, it's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight. And then what I did was I filled in all the white areas, or at least the areas that are going to be white with Codex Gray, and then filled them in with Skull White. I used then Chaos Black um, as the cleanup color, so I to patch up all the, uh, the check marks. As you can see here, I did it on the horn as well, and on the arm with the Power Claw. However, um, got a school Thraka has been in so many battles that this paint would not be pristine. Therefore, I, I started off by chipping all the, the painted areas, first with bolt gun metal, um, by just you know creating small uh, scratchy patterns on all the painted areas. And then I went over these areas um, with chainmail, but I only did a subset of the first area with chainmail, so then you have uh, two tone scratches. Overall, I feel that this is a really easy way and simple way um, to make the model look much more older and weathered than it would before the, the pattern. And that's it. You now know how I painted up my Gosgul Thraka model for my Orc Army. Here's what the model looks like when you put all the pieces together. I must apologize for the length of this tutorial, but it took me a bunch of steps to paint them, and I just want to show you guys um, all the steps I took. Overall, I have to say that I'm, I'm pretty happy with the model. Here's what it looks like with his finished base. Um, as you can see, I went with a, kind of a late winter theme. Most of it was snow, uh, a couple of rocks in there, as well as just a little bit of grass to create some contrast on the base. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. So as always, thank you very much to all you people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. Also, you can follow my blog at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more weekly updates, tutorials, and reviews, as well as a list of all my upcoming painting tutorials. So until next time, this is Mini Wargamer J saying, Happy Painting everyone. I don't know how I painted up my lord for my Necron army. 
Overall, I have to say that I liked painting the model. It didn't take very long. Um, I just did a, a very 